Nick is not here. What? What do you mean Nick isn't here? Come on, Price King. You've got to give me more to work with than that. That's so obvious. How does that help me? Of course he's not here because I don't see him. Can you give me something more useful? If you'd simply just let me finish. You're quite the eager fella, aren't you? Well, I guess, but... Come on, where is he? Stop stalling, just spit it out, tell me the answer. Because I, I played your bet to get an answer. By not here, I mean not in the restaurant. I believe he was helped and managed to escape. Helped? But helped by who? I don't remember the night where he vanished, which is night two, I think. So, I guess it is possible he managed to escape during everything that I forgot, but I don't have any memories of the night, so it doesn't really help me at all. Heh, <laughs> I like you, kid. I'll give you something to help you out. Huh? What? Wait, <laughs> is this the capsule that came from your stomach? Th that's a little bit gross, but... I appreciate it. It's a memory capsule. Huh. That's one of the many capsules I bear. It's called the memory capsule. The memory capsule. Wait, so if I use this, it could help me remember what happened on night two. Is that what you're telling me, Price King? That'd be so useful. If the capsule's dropped in the well room, you can have the capsule show you one specific memory. Um, well that's good and all, but where is the well room exactly, Prize King? Do you know? That's for you to find out. See you later, kiddo. The prize room is closed. For now. What? Wait, uh, I'm back here? But I was in the prize room a, a second ago. Oh, hey, guys! Zum, zum? <laughs> Translate, please, number one crate. Mr. Hugs is worried about you. And I am too. Did you visit the new room? Yeah, guys, don't worry. I'm fine. Just a little bit startled. Because the prize king kind of jump scared me and I'm here now. Wait a minute. Wait a minute! What is that thing doing here? Did you let it in? That's the security puppet, isn't it? Oh. Zum zum. Mr. Hug says it kind of just showed up. It didn't seem like it wanted to hurt us though. Well, I guess I'll check it out. Uh, hey! Security puppet! Was it? Is that how you're called? Kinda scary. Bonjour, yes. I am the marionette, but uh, this uh, security puppet is also fine. Um, okay, marionette. Why are you in the HQ? And how did you get in here? Because you guys are supposed to be guarding it. Although, to be honest, security puppet is like twice your size, so you guys probably couldn't keep her out. I am a master of being stealthy and detecting stealth. Getting in was easy, but I can change that. What are you proposing, security puppet? I heard your pitch about the rebellion through my hidden cameras and microphones. I'd like to join. Hidden cameras and microphones? Wait, do you still have access to those? Because that could be super useful for like the whole rebellion thing. So then we could spy on Springtrap. No. Unfortunately not. Lefty raided my room the other day. And took everything after I refused to join him. So... Wait. You're against Springtrap and his allies, right? If you're against Lefty and you refuse to join him. Because that would make you an ally of ours. I'm just not entirely trusting of you, yet. No offense. Of course, I despise them. I only was aggressive towards you, because I thought you are attempting to steal from me. So, that means you want to join us, 
join the rebellion, and that's why you're here. I I'm guessing, but maybe I'm just reading between the lines. Yes, I could guard the HQ to make sure Springtrap and company never make it anywhere near here ever again. Wait, but security puppet or marionette, why should I let you be the security guard if I was able to get past you like six times? Because does that make you not a reliable security guard? Maybe? Or were you going easy on me? Oh, please. If I wished to catch you, I would have. I was merely making sure nothing of mine got stolen. <laughs> Alright. To be fair, I did totally think you were deaf until now, until you started speaking to me and having a conversation. But, what do you guys think, Mr. Hugs and Number One Crate? You guys are the, the veterans here. Should we let Marionette be our head of security? Does that sound like a good idea? Zum, zum. He's shaking his head. Does that mean he's against it? What Mr. Hugs means to say is, yes, uh, of course. <laughs> sure didn't look like a yes to me. Not at all. <laughs> zoom, zoom, zoom. Oh my goodness. Okay, you know what, security puppet? I'm just gonna assume that Mr. Hugs is just a little bit, a little bit frustrated right now and you're hired. On one condition though, you said you had cameras everywhere, right? So you should be familiar with the Mr. Hugs just walking around. But security puppet, you should be familiar with the layout of the restaurant, right? I would think so. Uh, yes, of course. So, by any chance, would you know where the room called the well room would be? Does that ring a bell to you at all? Because that's where I need to go. The well room? Uh, yes, of course. It is only accessible through the hoof. It is located right next to the magic. Whom? Perfect. So that means we're gonna have to have another music man encounter though, because you said it's in the roof. That's not the best, but at least we have a lead. So if we go up through the ladder here onto the roof, that, what do we do next? How do we direct ourselves towards where this magic room is? I don't know exactly, but I do know there is a secret path in one of the closets in the hallway, in the roof. One of the closets? Wait, so that's where we hid from Music Man when we were kind of dodging him in the hallway. So one of these closets has a secret path behind it that we missed last time, I guess. So I guess that's where we're heading now. It's a little bit risky, but... Okay, so Mr. Hugs and Number One Crate, keep an eye on our new recruit. Um, I trust you guys. Miss, Where is Mr. Hugs? Oh my goodness, <laughs> he's up there. Uh, I'm gonna go to the well room and leave you guys to stay put. Sounds like a plan. So <laughs> Yo, that he sounds really upset. Mr. Hugs. Language! Uh, Mr. Hugs is 100% comfortable with being alone with the thing. Dude, did Mr. Hugs just cuss? Oh my goodness, Mr. Hugs, what are you doing? But come on, bro, just don't be scared. Marionette is a nice dude, I am certain of it. Because he's against Lefty. And if that's the case, oh my god, he drew a sword on him. Yo, calm down, calm down, no need for violence. <laughs> Use that against Lefty and Springtrap. But yeah, Security Puppet is a nice fellow. No need to worry about it in the slightest. Whoa, okay, that's an even bigger sword. Um, let's just chill and nobody hurt each other because otherwise I don't trust you guys to be alone. Oui, I'm nice. Unless you touch my belongings, then you're dead. Fellow rebels, let's start pushing the HQ up while Pixel is gone. Awesome, so you guys are gonna work on getting this place in shape. Can't wait to see what it looks like when I come back. In any case, let's do this. We have a destination, which is the well room. See you guys later. <laughs> guys, please don't kill each other while I'm gone, alright? Alright.
let's go to the well room. Man, I have a serious feeling of deja vu here. We've done this twice in a row now. We should be okay. Okay, we'll just duck in here. Oh my goodness, he's right there. Music man. So the aim of the game here is just to stay hidden and let music man go by without catching us. Oh, okay. We're good. We're good. No. Oh, 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 oh. Did he see us? Oh, wait, wait, wait. This is so scary. I'm, I'm certain he saw us. Dude, if he, I swear to God, if he's just pretending not to see us to then jump scare us like he's done before, I'm just done. I'm just gonna faint. <laughs> okay, we've got to get the memory capsule to the well room. And for that to work, we've got to find a secret path, which is apparently one of these. Don't see anything here. We'll keep going. Um, this is the next one. Yo, there's a secret path here. Okay, wait, he's coming back. He doesn't see us, right? We're fine. Huh, yeah? Wait. What? Uh, oh no. This is bad. What are you gonna do? He's actually found us. Uh-oh is right. You're done for. Time to steal your soul in three. No, please. Please, I beg you. Two. I don't want to be soulless. I, wait. What? <laughs> Mon Freddy came to the rescue. Oh my goodness, you're my savior. Ah! I thought I was going to die there. Oh, thank you so much, Mon Freddy. Child, I am in debt to you after you saved me from getting scrapped. I finally managed to catch up to you. Wait. Don't tell me. Mon Freddy. You've been chasing me all this time to say thanks to me. Oh my goodness. I'm so sorry for running for like running away from you all this time. I assumed you wanted to kill me cuz I guess the way you look is kind of scary. No no offense. Indeed. Looks can be quite deceiving. <laughs> I'll keep music man occupied. Go child. Thank you, Mon Freddy. How can I ever repay you? You just saved my soul there, literally. Well, if I make it out of this, can I join the rebellion? We'd be lucky to have you, Molten Freddy. Of course, how could I say no? The rebellion's getting some OP members today. This is awesome. Thank you. Now run. Music Man is getting back up. All right, ooh, I'm out, I'm out. Doors closed, ooh, ooh. Huh? That noise. Who got hurt? It sounded like it could either be Music Man or Molten Freddy. Oh my goodness, I hope Molten Freddy made it out victorious. Because he took such a risk facing off Music Man. Music Man is super OP. I guess Molten Freddy had the element of surprise on his side though. But I can't go back now because Music Man might be waiting for me right there. I've got to make it to the well room, which should be right through here. It is. We've made it to the well room. This is the well, right? Whoa. This is really cool. I didn't know there was a whole secret part of the restaurant. But, okay. We made it. Let's hope this works. I'm going to drop the memory capsule in there. Okay. Memory capsule. Show me something that can help me figure out what happened to Nick. Alright, Nick, what's the surprise that you wanted to show me? Alright, alright, so we haven't even shopped for animatronics today yet, and I already got a new one. A new animatronic! That's fantastic! The news brings money to my ears! I, I mean joy. Joy to my ears. Uh, right, Faz. But wait, Nick, where did you get this new animatronic from, actually? Well, the dude who sold to me was kind of sketch. I think he went by Michael, 
but he sold it to me for practically nothing. Come, I'll show you how cool the guy is. Here it is, Orville Elephant. Woohoo! This is a super premium animatronic. Normally these would sell for thousands, and you get it for free. If it was sold for super cheap, that means that it's pretty dangerous too. I mean, yay! Money! Nick, this guy's actually really cool! That was such a score that you managed to find him. And he has a magic wand too. Does he perform magic tricks in front of kids or whatever? Yep, the vendor called him Orville the Great. Apparently whoever buys this gets one moment of extreme luck. Or at least that's what the man said. One moment of extreme luck, huh? Sounds kinda like a scam if you ask me, but... Uh... I don't know. I think we should, just in case, put this guy in storage until we find out whether he's safe, because... If he was sold to you by a sketch guy for super cheap, he's gotta mean trouble, right? That sounds like a ter- I mean, fantastic idea, boss! Fine, I'll, I'll put him away, but someday we've got to put him back up. Deal. Yo, I've got to run back home quickly, but I'll meet you back at the restaurant when our day job and night shift starts, alright? It's like in an hour or so. I'll go as well for, uh, reasons. Alright, see you guys. Sorry, Orville, I've got to put you away, but if anything happens, you got me covered with the whole extreme luck thing, right? Because I've got a bad feeling about today. Whoa! So what I just saw was part of day two? The whole day I didn't remember. But, and in it, we got a magical animatronic called Orville Elephant or Orville the Great? Something like that. It doesn't really help much with the whole Nick mystery though, does it? I guess I could try to find this Orville guy. Huh? Is someone there? Whoa! Yo, it's like a pirate fox! Ar matey! You're looking for Arville the Great? Arville? Wait, is that Orville Elephant? Is that how you say it? <laughs> is that the pirate way? Um, well... Yeah, if I could find him, it could definitely help us out. And wait! You're part of the Rockstar Band! I remember Freddy and Bonnie mentioned you. I, I met them the other day, actually. Arr, they're no longer me mateys. They started working for Lefty, that crook. Yeah, I agree, Lefty is definitely a crook. But, wait, so what's going on with you now? Are you kind of like a solo act? Or a duo act with your parrot, I guess. With the accordion and everything. It's kind of cool, I dig it. Your own style and everything. Nah, matey. Rock star chica be working with me as well. Alongside Arville the Great. Whoa. So then, the rock star band. It kind of split in two? That's pretty interesting. But, yeah. Uh, lead me to Orville, or Arville, as you say. <laughs> yeah, that one. Orville? Oh, Arville. Right this way, matey. Right this way. Whoa, how does he fit through that doorway? <laughs> Alright, let's follow him and see what's going on here. So, this must be the magic room that Marionette mentioned. It's so cool! And I bet it's magic themed because of Orville. He's up there. Whoa! That's awesome! Hey! <laughs> Mr. Orville, do you want to introduce me, Foxy? I'm a little bit spooked. Arr, mateys! There be company for yar! Yeah, I'm the company. Hey, sup, Orville? Dude, that was a cool entrance, not gonna lie. Hello, I'm Orville. Elephant. Well, I believe we've met before. But that you don't remember such an encounter. Um, yeah, I didn't remember you at all until like a couple of seconds ago or minutes ago. I had a vision through a, a memory capsule of you. 
Memory do what a hickey? What's this human doing here? Chica, don't interrupt the human. He's an ally of ours. I can sense it. An ally of yours? Uh, I, I guess I am, if you're against Lefty and co. Arr, of course! Those landlubbers keep trying to mess with our show. <laughs> landlubbers? That's an interesting way, but... To put it, but yeah, those guys have been terrorizing the restaurant for ages. We've got to fight back, and that's what I've been doing, kind of. Mm-hmm. Darn right they have. We've got to shut them down. I agree. And I'm actually kind of the leader of a rebellion. It's pretty small right now, but it's four members other than me. But with you guys' help, we could totally beat Lefty and Springtrap. I'm sure of it. At least, I'm pos somewhat sure. Perhaps. But what else is it you came here for? Pixel, was it? Oh, I sense an ulterior motive. Right. Um, I wanted to ask. Do you know what happened to Nick? I have a feeling you were involved with his disappearance, or at least, uh, or escape? Judging from what I've heard. Well, yes. He bought me, so in exchange, I granted him luck. And saved him from getting murdered. So you did do that. And that's why I was shown that flashback, to know that you exist, I guess, if that makes sense. Huh. Because you're the reason he's not dead. That makes sense. But, Orville, do you know where he is right now? I think he's out of the restaurant, but... Where exactly is he? He's gone home. He does not wish to return to the restaurant after what happened. Right. I guess it makes sense that he'd be super traumatized, but then that means that on night three, the letter of resignation he sent was legit. I thought it had been forged, but... Huh. So, the letter of resignation was legit, but... He was still kind of murdered on night two, but not really murdered because you saved him. Dude, this is getting tricky. <laughs> but I guess I feel as though I'm piecing together like a massive puzzle here. But Orville, with your magic powers, could you possibly deliver a message to Nick? It could help out so much. And it could help us shut down Lefty as well and Springtrap. I could, but... I would need something in return from you. Perhaps a favor? Would you be willing to grant me that? A favor? Uh, yeah, anything. Um, I'll grant you a favor. Do you have something I could write a letter to Nick on? Here. Yo, a book. Okay. Let's see, we gotta keep this concise. Dear Nick, I found out how you escaped. Buying Orville happened to be a good idea. It even saved you your life. However, I'm still trapped in the restaurant, and I need help. If you can't come, could you call law enforcement or something to help me? Out. Thanks, Nick. I hope you're okay. Pixel. Alright, we'll call it Dear Nick. I sure hope he gets it. Here you go. Norville, please give this to Nick. Alright. That I shall do. Man, am I glad to be done with all the restaurant business. If it weren't for Orville, I'd be dead for sure. Letter from Pixel? Wait, 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 what? Pixel's still trapped inside the restaurant? There's no way I'm going back there, but I, I can make a call. Hello? Michael? Or Mr. Afton, was it? It's Nick. <laughs>